Now we'd like to recognize uh, Congresswoman Migs Nograles. You are recognized. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, the questions that I will be um, asking would be addressed to Ms. Alice Guo. Hi, Ms. Alice. Earlier, you were saying na uh, very adamant ka na hindi ka involved in any of the Pogo businesses or any uh, anything so related to that, correct? Uh, Your Honor, opo. And you did an interview na maraming nakakita with Karen Davila last May 2024, correct? Uh, yes po, Your Honor. At doon konento mo yung simple mong buhay, yung income mo, farming lang, lumaki ka sa uh, pinalaki ka ng tatay mo, and very personal information, correct? Uh, yes po, ma'am. And you mentioned um, the only um, connection na meron ka with Hong Shen is because uh, you bought land at ikaw ang translator. Uh, Hong Sheng po ba, Your Honor? Yes, Hong Sheng. Uh, Hong Sheng, opo, that time po, uh, nag-translate lang po ako for them. And that time, uh, I am part of the land po ni Hong Sheng. That time, am, so uh, after that. Sorry, sorry, land po ni Bao Fu. Okay, ulit. Part uh, ka ng land which, nakukonfuse ka na ata eh. Opo, Bao Fu. Bao Fu is a land development company. And before po ako nag-divest, uh, I think... 2020, 20, 20, uh, 20, 21. So, yun lang yung sinasabi mong, uh, and you said in this uh, interview that talagang you never entered into any Pogo business or relations, correct? And you still stand by that today? Yes, Your Honor. And um, kanina pinakita ni Congresswoman Luistro, yung mga corporations no that your family has been involved in um, i think can we show the uh, list of the corporations again please secretariat ito so mga 12 po yan and most of that family members mo as you mentioned earlier kasi dapat trusted ang mga nanjan that you work with with these corporations correct uh, yes, Your Honor. So, sa simple mong buhay, sa farming, from 2009 to 2023, you were able to do 12 corporations, build 12 corporations. Uh, Your Honor, yung iba po dyan ay hindi operating. Uh, yung iba naman po dyan nag-start 2010, uh, 2009 pala, to be exact, si QJJ Farm. So from 2009 pa po yan, at hindi po siya lahat operating po, Your Honor. Okay, you mentioned QJJ Farm. Ito yung big farm mo. And uh, 2009, you were, you incorporated this kasama ng mga pamilya mo, correct? Uh, for the company po, uh, Your Honor, I'm so sorry. I invoke my right against self-incrimination because I have eight pending cases po on the court, including AMLAC. Uh, pakita na lang natin yung uh, list na lang ng incorporators of QJJ Farm. This is a public document anyway. Secretariat, can we please show? So this is you, um, a certain Sheila Guo, um, certain... Samen Guo, which is Wesley Guo, tama po ba? Uh, Ma'am, uh, for, the, for the business po, uh, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. And then, itong si Lin Wenyi, namin naman po, ito yung girlfriend ng tatay ni Miss Alice na si Jian Zong Guo. And this was 2009. And uh, are you still involved with QJJ Farm? Ma'am, uh, for, for all the businesses po, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. Okay. Um, meron naman din tayong document, yung GIS, which is a public document ng 2023, na um, starting 2023, lahat po involved pa rin yung family niya, Sheila Go, Simon Lee Go, Gian Go, Lin Wenyi. And pumalit po ang um, si Alexander Abrenica. Who is Alexander Abrenica, Miss Alice? Uh, Alexander Abrenica, uh, wala na po siya business partner, pero wala na rin po siya sa QJJ. Is not, isn't uh, Alexander Abrenica your municipal administrator? Uh, before po. Before. When, so, 
inentrust mo sa kanya uh, ang opo. QJJ form? Uh, for QJJ po, ma'am, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. But lahat to nag-remain and we can see no, na trusted mo talaga at pinasok mo dito ang municipal administrator mo as admitted by you, administrator mo siya. So makikita natin na yung QJJ form ay uh, isang corporation na ang pumalit kay Ms. Alice Go ang kanyang um, municipal administrator na makikita naman siguro natin madaling uh, utusan. No? Um, so basically, by 2023, dahil wala ka na sa QJJ form, ay hindi mo na pwedeng magamit ang pangalan ng QJJ form, any, anything that has to be linked to you, correct? Ma'am, for the businesses po, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. Well, in corporate naman po, to let the committee know, pag ganito, ibig sabihin, hindi na siya kasama ng farm dapat. Kasi wala na po yung pangalan niya sa mga corporate documents. However, um, may isang KYC form ang China Bank. Know your customer, which everyone, if you have a bank account, ay ginagawa to yearly. ba? Diba? Pakita po natin. 2023, just to remind everyone, dapat wala na po si Ms. Alice sa QJJ form. However, dito sa China Bank KYC form, dated 2024 ng February, nandito po ang name ni Ms. Alice uh, Liel Go, and nakasulat na siya pa rin, yung business name niya ay QJJ form. No. So, kahit na... Dapat hindi na siya involved sa QJJ farm. Ay mukhang gumagalaw pa rin to dahil nga municipal administrator siguro niya ang pinalit sa kanya. Uh, na nakokontrol pa rin niya tong QJJ farm. In fact, with this uh, same bank account ng China Bank na nakapangalan kay Alice Go, do you confirm that um, in 2022 you wrote checks, 10 checks worth 10 million each? Um, to Baofu development? Uh, Ma'am, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. Ang so, nakalagay po sa check is 2020. 2020, yes. 2020. Uh, still po, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po, Ma'am. But that is your signature. Uh, Ma'am, I invoke my right against self-incrimination We have documents po. naman to show that that is um, the signature and this is the bank account of uh, Miss Alice Go. So, nakaka-alarm na uh, very simple na tao na farming ang kanyang uh, business and uh, um, nakapag-issue ng 10 checks na 10 million each no um, si Miss Alice to Baofu Land Development. You have another business called Q Seed Genetics Inc, correct? Ma'am, for all the businesses po, I invoke my right po. Okay. And uh, the same uh, since public document naman to, it's almost the same as you can see, Mr. Chair and to the members, no? Na still, it's the same people involved, which is also the same, na halos the same nakita natin sa 12 corporations earlier, as, as we've seen. For this one, so QC, makikita na naman natin sa KYC documents, no? Um, na siya rin lang nag-apply for the bank account. Miss Alice, correct? This is... Do you know this document? Uh, Mama, I invoke my right against self-incrimination. So, po. makikita naman po natin, same signature, her name is there. Essentially, parang ganito yung nangyayari sa kanyang mga businesses, sa kanilang mga businesses. Si Miss Alice talaga may hawak ng mga bank accounts. Siya yung nag apply sa mga bank accounts. So, siya yung nag talaga. May access sa uh, accounts ng mga different corporations under with her name and our, her family's name. Let's go to uh, um, Baofu, no? Noong 2019, February 2019, tama ba na bumalik ka ng maraming lupa in Anupul, Bamban, Tarlac, Miss Alice? Sorry, Your Honor. Um, you purchased land in specifically Anupul, Bamban, Tarlac noong 2000, uh, February 28, 2019. Do you remember? Uh, anong pong lot po yun, Your Honor? Sorry. Um, this is a uh, 10,000 square meters na lot. Um, ikaw, you bought it from a restituto de la Cruz? Uh, yan po yung Baofu po. Ito yung sinasabi niyong pinurchase niyo na Baofu. Mm -hmm. And uh, 
yung pinurchase nyo to, it was classified as agricultural. Correct? Uh, Your Honor, uh, I cannot uh, answer for that. Uh, you purchased opo. it, hindi mo alam kung anong classification ng land? So uh, hindi, ko, hindi ko lang po maalala to be exact. But this is your land and you purchased it. Ang laki-laki ng land na to. Yes po. Ah, uh, yung reclassification hindi ko na po, hindi ko lang po maalala yung reclassification. Okay, hindi mo maalala. Paalala ko na lang po sa inyo dahil meron naman tayong official document ng Office ng Sangguniang Bayan. Pakita po natin. Um, na kayo po talaga ang lumapit sa Sangguniang Bayan. Hindi ka pa po mayor nito, tama? Miss Alice. 2019 po, okay, hindi so pa hindi po. Hindi pa po. So ikaw yung lumapit for the reclassification hmm. a month after you bought the agricultural land to reclassify it to be um, I think commercial para makapag-operate or whatever business is there. Uh, for Baufu po, Your Honor, uh, all the answers po my use against me in the court, I invoke my right against self-incrimination So for the information po. of everyone, so uh, a month after the purchase ng agricultural land, napa, nakausap niya ang Sangguniang Bayan para ma-reclassify ito so that pwedeng pumasok ang mga iba't ibang businesses so they can operate. Which, alam naman po natin na ito po yung mga sinabi ni Congresswoman Luistro na nag operate ng mga pogo operations doon sa land ng Baofu. Um, and ito yung alarming, no? So, Baofu, in 2019, Baofu Land Development as a corporation uh, nag-purchase ng mga uh, ng land. Baofu mismo nag-purchase ng land. And uh, are you saying, Miss Alice, that wala kang kinalaman sa Baofu except the ownership of the land? Ma'am, uh, Your Honor, regarding Baofu, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. So I'll show na lang to this committee, to everyone, uh, that we have a deed of sale of um, Baofu purchasing land noong April 5, 2019. The alarming thing dito, Mr. Chair, is April nag-purchase ang Baofu Land Development as a corporation. Pero ang Articles of Incorporation ng Baofu, may pa lang siya na-incorporate. So, kung a month after lang na-incorporate ang Baofu Land Development, I don't understand kung bakit nakapag-purchase or buhay na ang Baofu Land Development at nangyari itong deed of sale ng pag-purchase ng land um, before nabuhay pa itong Baofu Land Development. It's very, it's very, very alarming. And what's alarming is dinerase na rin ni uh, Congresswoman Jinky, no? yung mga incorporators part of Baofu, which you said earlier na dapat, na ba, uh, kilala mo ang mga kasama mo sa isang corporation, yung dalawang names po nakasama dun sa Baofu, pakita lang po natin, ay etong ang si Bao Ying Ling and si Ziang Huang, which Miss Alice, you said kilala mo tong si Ziang, tama? Uh, yes, Your Honor. Yes, and bakit naman makikipag-ugnayan ka sa mga kriminal? Why do a business with them? Do you know that they are convicted? Um, Your Honor, as much as Honestly, regarding Baofu, ayoko na po talaga sumagot. Pero doon sa question nyo po na bakit po ako nakipag-ugnayan sa mga kriminal, uh, Your Honor, hindi ko po alam sila ay kriminal. Ang nakilala ko po dyan is Huang Ji Yang. 2000, way back 2017 or 2017 or 2016. So you did not do any background check? Hindi kayo, wala kang nakikita uh, nakikita news? Nakikita ko normal nakikita naman. Yung... Labas-pasok naman ng bansa. Normal naman, may negosyo po sa Clark. You didn't see anything suspicious of them? Or what? Nakilala ko po sila na nag cooperate po sila. Actually, to be exact, isa lang, si Huang Ji Yang. nag cooperate po siya ng restaurant. So is out of the other incorporators, isa lang kilala mo. And yet... Earlier, you were already saying you only do business and you will enter business with people that you know and are comfortable with and you trust. So kung isa lang, ay ano naman tong iba? Uh, yung dalawa po, ang nag-provide ng pangalan doon sa dalawa is Huang Ji Yang. Ang kausap ko po dyan, Your Honor, is only Huang Ji Yang. So you basically entered into a corporate corporation na isa lang talaga kilala mo at bahala na tong isa sa 
kung sino sa ipapasok niya as incorporators. Uh, Your Honor, ang kilala ko lang po dyan si Huang Ji Yang. So it's very alarming, no? Parang, bakit ka papasok na isang business, hindi mo rin pala kasam kailala yung mga nandyan, tapos biglang magiging kriminal. It's kind of hard to believe also na um, hindi po alam Mr. Chair, or walang mga suspicions dyan, or even kung totoo nga na hindi alam, uh, papasok ka ng isang business na hindi mo kakilala yung mga kasama mo. Uh, in 2020, no, ikaw din ba ang nag-apply with regard to BAUFU ng mga business permits? Your Honor, regarding BAUFU, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. So I'll just show na lang to this um, committee, Mr. Chair. So to July 2020, si Ms. Alice Guo ang nag-apply ng business permit um, netong for BAUFU. So, di ba, kung siya lang talaga yung may-ari ng land and did not have to do anything, hindi naman dapat gagalaw daw Mr. Chair or someone else could have done this on his on her behalf. Kasi marami naman incorporators eh. Hindi naman pwedeng siya lang, di ba? But, on tw July 2020, 2020, it was really Alice Guo, with her name there indicated na uh, siya yung nag-apply ng uh, business permit, ng building permit. At the same time, um, February 2021, she was the one also, Ms. Alice Go was the authorized representative, as the authorized representative of Baofu Land Development, who uh, signed the lease agreement in February 21, uh, February 11, 2021, with Hongshen Gaming Technology. Uh, your Honor, uh, hindi ko po signature yung nakita ko po sa monitor. That's not your signature. That's not my signature po. Okay, uh, we will take note of that. Your, but your name is there. So you're, you're saying that this is a, a document that's supposed to be non-existent or someone else signed for you? Uh, for Baofu, I revoke... I invoke my rights again, uh, I invoke myself against self-incrimination, but the documents in front of me, hindi ko po siya signature. No, it's very alarming that may ganito, na umiikot Mr. Chair then, we have to look into it. Um, bakit na ipangalan ni Alice Go dito, no? So earlier, but earlier, because you've refused to uh, uh, answer my question na uh, signatures mo yung earlier, so ngayon na sinasabi mo hindi mo to signature, yung mga tinanong kong and pinakita kong documents earlier, you can confirm those are your signatures. Uh, your Honor, regarding Baofu, uh, I will not confirm anything po. So mahirap na naman maniwala dito kung yan talaga yung signature mo. Hindi, kung hindi mo rin naman sasabihin na yung earlier signatures ay sa'yo, sasabihin mo right against self-incrimination. Ngayon, biglang you're gonna say that's not your signature with your name. Pero hindi rin naman namin uh, malalaman kung ano na yung totoo because... Pag tinanong ka na, straight, kung ano ba talaga yung signature mo, sasabihin mo, uh, i-invoke mo yung right mo against self-incrimination. So, alangan natin tingnan ano ba talaga yung totoo dito, no, Miss Alice. At the same time, in September 21, 2021, there's also a document uh, na may, may deed of assignment na. No? This is a uh, few days before you filed, and you said earlier na nag-divest ka na sa Baofu. Correct. You said that earlier naman kay Congresswoman Luistra. And you're con reconfirming that. Yes po, Your Honor. Okay. And this was September 2021, 20, 20, 2021. So dapat, kung nag-divest ka na, hindi na ikaw ang gumagalaw for um, anything that has to do with Baofu, correct? Uh... Your Honor, regarding Baofu, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. So let me just um, turn everyone's attention lang to the screen again. Again, the date na sinasabi niya nag-divest po siya sa Baofu is September 21, 2022. However, merong um, isang unified application form for business permit um, six days after the supposed divestment named under Ms. Alice Guo on the same land na doon sa Baofu. This is supposedly, tap, hindi, wala ka nang kinalaman sa Baofu, Miss Alice. Six days after. Tama? Uh, your Honor, tama po. And then, September 28, meron pang building permit na nasa pangalan mo rin. And nakasulat dito, 
yung owner is Alice Go slash Baofu Land Development. So, dapat, dapat hindi na pangalan mo lumalabas dito, tama? Uh, Your Honor, hindi po ako gumawa ng building permit. And I have no idea na yung building permit po, nakalagay pa rin po sa pangalan ko after my divest po. So, are you trying to say someone is has been using your name? Uh, Your Honor, regarding Baofu, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. Okay. And no October 2021, uh, October 25, 2021, there is also a DNR uh, environment Environmental Compliance Certificate issued by the DNNR at nandiyan din ang pangalan mo. Now with Baofu. Uh, Your Honor, hindi ko rin po alam kung ba't andyan ang pangalan ko. Well, nakasulat din naman dito na sa sworn accountability statement ng ECC na ikaw talaga ang owner nito. May July 21, 2022 also na building permit on the same uh, richest mayor ka na ba na to? July 2022. Mayor na po kayo neto, Miss Alice, no? At kayo pa rin ang nakasulat dito. Eh, mayor na kayo. Kayo naman po nagsasign ng building permit. Hindi niyo po nakita na ang pangalan mo nandyan. Uh, Your Honor, hindi po ako nagsign ng building permit at hindi ko rin po nakita yan. Ngayon ko lang po siya nakita. Ngayon mo lang nakita ah, to. Nandyan yung pangalan mo. Ang dami naman pala nating dokumento pinapakita na nandyan yung pangalan mo at hindi mo po alam. So, ang dami nangyayari pala under your corporations and under people using apparently your name or different signature na hindi natin malalaman dahil ayaw mong sabihin sa amin uh, na lumalabas dito yung mga pangalan mo at hindi nyo po alam. Tama po. Uh, your Honor, regarding Baofu, I invoke my right against self-incrimination po. So, it's very alarming, Mr. Chair, no? Parang ang daming nangyayari na may mga gumagalaw uh, na kahit nag-divest na po, ng interest or ng shares itong si Miss Alice ay uh, gumagalaw pa rin ng isang corporation with her name. And Mr. Chair, alarming din na um, ngayon po, sinasabi naman po ni Miss Alice na hindi naman niya alam mo nang nangyayari. So just to um, summarize, despite the divestment in September 21, 2021 ni Miss Alice Go, Nakapaggalaw under her name ang Baofu, which is the land where all these POGO operators have been found, Mr. Chair. Na itong unified application form of business permit, September 27, 2021, nandun sa pangalan ni Alice Go na dapat hindi kung nag-divest na po siya. Even September 28, 2021, yung, bis yung building permit po, Mr. Chair, nandun pa rin yung pangalan niya as the owner of Baofu, pero nag-divest na po daw siya. Even the Environmental Compliance Certificate dated October 25, 2021. Nandun pa rin ang pangalan niya kahit nag-divest po siya. Even dun sa sworn accountability statement, nandun nakasulat explicitly, siya din po ang owner. And eto, siya na po yung mayor nung panahon na nag-renew ng business permit ang Baofu. Hindi pa rin niya alam na nandun din yung pangalan niya, eh siya na po yung mayor dun. At na-renew pa rin yung business permit. Nand ang pangalan niya nandoon as the owner ng Baofu. So, lahat to, Mr. Chair, it's alarming kasi um, sa mga abogado kasi, meron ano, isang um, pagdating sa mga pieces of evidence, Mr. Chair, mas mabigat ang documentary evidence kaysa sa testimonial evidence. Dahil mas madali naman talagang uh, mag-imbento, magsinungaling, or gumawa ng kung ano-anong kwento. At pag tinapatan na ng dokumento, na nandun yung pangalan, nandun ang signature, mahirap naman po yung um, tanggihan at mahirap sabihin na hindi nag exist to, Mr. Chair. Ang dami-dami natin pinakitang dokumento. And it's very alarming, no, that we see these documents, there is some denial or refusal to answer, Mr. Chair, on these documents we are presenting. Kasi siguro nakikita natin unting-unti ang katotohanan na Ms. Alice Go really is involved with these POGO operations na kahit sabihin niya in public, nagpa-interview po siya, at dito po ay mukhang uh, hindi rin niya tayo uh, sinasagot ng maayos, even in the Senate, kasi unting-unting napapakita natin ang katotohanan. Ang katanungan ko lang, Mr. Chair, kailan ba talaga magsasabi uh, ng totoo itong si Ms. Alice? No? Kasi 
nakakapagod na na niloloko yung tayong Pilipino, niloloko niyo po yung Pilipinas. No? At sana po, um, sa mga ibang magtatanong sa inyo, magsabi na po kayo ng totoo. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Thank you, uh, Congressman Nograles.